kill me, I need something to talk to my shrink about. I need a hand! Ah, oh, bullshit. I hate this fucking thing. The power of the dark side, 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 Yo, Sal, yo, Sal, let's go. What is he doing? He's beginning to suck. Double boiler. Oh boy, what an interesting shotgun. Just by looking at the DPS, just hmm, that's a big old hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> we will see in game. So this is going to be a really quick video just because I got another video after this that I really need to work on super quick. So with that done, let's take a look at the perks. So as you can see right here, I changed the perks a little bit. This one over here was reload speed. I changed it to crit. And this one was impact. I changed it to damage. However, if you want to change this to reload speed, then you have to change this to crit damage because you can't have crit on the first perk. And then you have to change this to critical rate. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the build. All right, so I'm going to be using Raider Headhunter. I'm, I'm going to keep calling her Raider Headhunter. I'm not going to change the name. It was perfect for her and fits her so well with the red outfit. I don't care about the name they gave her. She's still my favorite Raider Headhunter. <laughs> boy. Of course, the reason I don't have a legendary version because I love the epic version. She looks way cooler, in my personal opinion. The reason I'm using her as a main hero, first of all, for the 50% extra damage instead of 17%. Because here's the thing. Some people will go for the Raider Raptor. Is his name still Raider Raptor? I I'm not sure. No, they changed his name as well. It's time to stop. So he gives 125% crit damage on shotguns. Before this was 200%, but they nerfed it. So I'd rather use the Raider Headhunter for the 50% damage than only going for this guy for extra 50% crit damage. All right. So that's why I'm using Raider Headhunter as a main hero. Extra damage is more important in my opinion than just 50% extra crit damage all right skull ranger ramirez every time you reload extra damage all right and then survival jonesy of course then steel wall carlos i always use him when i use a soldier with war cry and i went for wukong for extra damage this is not the best build there are better builds out there but this is the heroes that i have so i'm working with that all right and then i went for this team perk here's the thing i always go for this team perk i really love it it gives a lot of damage because some missions will last through the night and this is great in my opinion in the night because you can go for the other perk that that when something is full health you do more damage to them that's great all right but that's for solo if you're playing with a full team it's so goddamn rare to find a monster with full health then you have a team perk that's completely useless however i'm still not 100 percent sure this will puff our shotgun because it puffs the melee weapons but they say extra damage they don't say specifically for melee weapons so we can try that as well in the game right now and see if we get more damage on the shotgun or not with that out of the way my throat hurts let's hop in game all right, scenario in game. So here's the thing. First of all, you can tell straight away that the crosshair is really small on this, and especially if you aim. So headshots with this shotgun is really great. Can we hit the taker from here? I wonder. In three, two, one. Nope, it didn't. All right, let's get closer. They didn't wake up though. All right, I can see his health now. And it didn't hit again. Let's get closer. And now it did hit. Not bad. Oh boy. 200, 200,000 against an element husk? Give me a good old rap. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it's, oh, I love it. I just love the fact that you can actually aim for headshots with this shotgun. No! To aim for headshots with this one. You can melt with it if you want to. <laughs> what the hell is this trailer doing here? <laughs> yeah, my voice is dying. <laughs> this is like mainly focused for one single target. Like if you see a smasher, a taker, a blaster, you pick this one and use it. But for large groups like this, I don't think it's... Never mind! It does freaking pierce against normal husks! This is like mainly focused for one single target. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It does actually pierce against normal husks. That's great. I didn't know that. Alright, I take back what I said about this is not good against large groups before anything else i just want to make sure how much normal damage can we do all right this is the body shot 125,000. that's the body shots all right so i need to wait till the night and see if, if we get above 130,000 and see if the damage perk the damage team perk actually works or not all right let's kill the smasher in three two one one shot two shots all right lucky us here we go Let's see the normal damage. All right, body shot. Come on. Show me the numbers, please. No. 
150,000. So instead of 125,000, we're doing 150,000. 167,000. It actually works. So in the dark, you will deal way more damage. As you can see now, we're up to 600,000 when we crit. Oh, that's way better. That's way better. All right, I, I was a little nervous that it's not actually working with the damage buff. But nah, I take it back. I'm happy it worked. It's working. 175. Normal body shot. Awesome. 167. 167 again. Not bad, not bad. So it actually works. Oh boy. That... Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. I seriously was a little bit nervous that it's not working. And I was using the buff. And it's not giving damage for rifles or shotguns. But now, at least we're 100% sure. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to be ending the video here. I really recommend this shotgun. It's really great. Really, really great in my opinion, alright? So, here's the thing. If you have Dragoon, Dragoon is awesome. But it's mainly for large groups, not for single target. This one, if you have reload speed, can work for large groups and for single targets as well. There's not a lot of bad things about it. Like, to be honest, I can't find any bad thing about it. Maybe the range? That might be a thing. But nah, it's, the sh it's a shotgun after all. You have to be in close combat. So it's a really, really good shotgun overall. I really recommend it. So with that out of the way, let me know what you think. And I will see you later on with another one. Take care and have yourself a good day.